Some of the lures that are out there these days, you would be so surprised at. They are, they are disguised as child-friendly and actually in the interest of your child's safety. For example, fingerprinting. If you're gonna do a fingerprinting and identification kit, you really are gonna wanna do it at a reputable place, such as a police station or a school. You're, you don't wanna go up to a, a little stand that's set up that offers you free pictures and fingerprinting of your children and ha they have you fill out a form and then they mail it to you. This essentially gives a predator every single bit of information that they could possibly want about your child. They now have a picture of your child, they have your home address, they have your all of your child's information. So you absolutely don't wanna fall uh, into this trap. Also, picture stations. One time I was at a Halloween carnival where a volunteer had set up a, a backdrop, a very simple backdrop, and he was a quote-unquote part-time photographer. He was taking pictures of children and asking the parents to fill out information cards with the child's name and home address, and he would later mail the pictures. This is not something that you want to do. Again, it gives a child predator all of the information that they could possibly need to, to contact your child. So you want to be careful with things like that. Letters to Santa, or letters from Santa, excuse me, uh, all of these things are things that you really want to be careful. If you want Santa to send your child a letter, I'm sure that you can get creative enough to, to write a letter and disguise your writing and, and have it mailed to your house. You really want to be careful. Sometimes things that seem very well-meaning and in the interest of your children really are something very different.